the Zimbabwe Agricultural Development Trust, ZADT, administers an agriculture value chain financing facility called the Credit for Agricultural Trade and Expansion Fund, CREATE Fund. The objective of the fund is to benefit rural smallholder farmers by increasing their incomes through increased productivity in their farming operations. The farmer can either access this value chain financing facility directly or they benefit indirectly through linkages with funded value chain actors or agribusinesses. The ZADT's CREATE Fund is disbursed through selected financial institutions which include commercial banks and microfinance institutions. Cumulative disbursements through the participating financial institutions as at 30 June 2017 stood at $70.7 million of which $9.4 million was for capital expenditure and $61.3 million for working capital facilities. More than 180 agribusinesses working with smallholder farmers involved in several value chains have accessed the fund through the participating financial institutions. Hexen accessed the capital expenditure facility through one of the CREATE Fund's disbursing financial institutions, Stewart Bank, to establish a stock feed milling and pelleting plant. This involved construction of the stock feed mill housing and warehousing structure for the company's milling business. Uh, we had gone through a drought, we had a uh, liquidity crisis and um, people could not afford to do their projects because of uh, some limitations here and there. So we got a recipe of how to manufacture stock feed. Uh, we didn't have machinery, we just had the know-how and we had limited finances. So we started m mixing our a little bit uh, stock feed in the tub and selling to our neighbors who were doing their big backyard boiler production. Then demand started, uh, continued to increase. We started renting a space in the industrial areas where we would mix on the floor using shovels and the like. Then we handed for a mixing machine. It uh, was quite helpful for some time, then, but then later on, with the increase in demand, and us open some more branches. By then we had two branches, one in Chinoi and the other one in Rusabe. So this machine became too small for the two shops. The value of the house and the machine that we wanted to buy was very small. So most banks would not give us funding. But thanks to Stuart, they saw our project as a bankable one. Then they advised us on the ZADT funds. We interviewed, so we filled in the paper, necessary papers. Then we, funds were availed. Then we realized we had a big problem. The machinery coming was very big. We were renting premises. We couldn't rent, we couldn't uh, erect that machinery in rented problems, in rented property. So, we started hunting for some space. Well, we acquired it, but then we didn't have enough funds. Thanks to Stuart and ZADT, they have all some funds. We managed to pay off the stand. The machine now enables us to produce pellets. When you are doing the meshes, it does three times. But when you are doing the clumps, it will do, it will do two. When you are doing uh, pellets, because they are, uh, it's a stage uh, faster, then it becomes about two to two and a half tons per hour. By supporting value chain actors like Paxson, rural smallholder farmers have been able to benefit and increase in their productivity. The smallholder farmers have been very supportive of our project and it's our wish that we continue to support each other. We have uh, six runners in the villages that run around and mobilize. And there are also some that come informally to say that we are six farmers, we have so many tons can you come? Then we, they would have registered all the things that they want in terms of inputs. 
Then we calculate the amount of uh, the, um, the, the value of inputs that they want, and also the difference will be, be done in cash. And very a few here and there we do bank transfers. The project has been running for the m over two years now, and we have been managing to service the loan, to pay our workers, to pay our renters in the shops, and also to do a few other things. So this machine has quite helped us in meeting our social obligations. Pax on Investments has realized significant benefits from the CREATE Fund. They managed to access long-term funding at low cost, which enabled them to import their processing equipment as well as purchasing their industrial premises. Through the new plant, the company has managed to increase its output and business turnover. The increased processing capacity has led to higher demand for grain, which is acquired from smallholder farmers. The farmers also access stock feeds and other agricultural inputs through the company's retail outlets. The CREATE Fund therefore continues to offer relevant support to value chain actors for the ultimate benefit of the smallholder farmers.